Hey everybody, this is the Stoner Commentator here, Lion420, or uh, whatever, Joe on my uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook page, uh, I'm going to put this video on YouTube and Facebook. This program is called Autodesk 3ds Max, it makes uh, 3D uh, computer generated images, you, you make them, you can download models and fuck with them and do animation and all kinds of shit and it's got it's it's really complicated and it's hard to find things and I was getting annoyed by it uh, not that I even know how to use it because I barely ever do I just somebody gave it to me a friend of mine that used to work in Hollywood uh, it's a 2014 version uh, but uh, I was looking around trying to find ways to make it easier to use and I came across something incredible. It's called Voice Activated Commands. And uh, all you got to do if you don't uh, want to go around looking and have time to waste, like spare time to program it yourself, program all the uh, voice commands yourself, uh, it makes working with this program and others like... Um, uh, other Autodesk programs, um, uh, Adobe programs like uh, After Effects, Photoshop, Premiere, um, Audition, yeah, wonderful to have this. Okay, so let me show you what it uh, what it does first. So we'll go to my builder. We're gonna load a profile of 3ds Max. We're gonna turn it on. And here's what it does. Square. Box. Convert to editable poly. Inset. Extrude, chamfer, chamfer. Okay, so sometimes you have problems, and uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta work with it a little. Delete, delete. You know. Um, and you do all kinds of things like uh, capsule. What the hell? Uh, delete. 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 Thank you. Uh, what else? Uh, quad patch. No, I don't have that programmed in. Uh, Taurus. Delete. Pyramid. That's not a pyramid. Pyramid. Delete. You can move it around. Delete. Home. You know, okay. And in order to program, I'll show you this. No, I don't need that. Turn it off. So in order to program it, first you have to go to customize user interface and go to the keyboard shortcuts. Okay, these are all the keyboard shortcuts on the um, that the computer has. Not everything has computer shortcuts, but the ones you know, not every command has a com not every single command has a keyboard shortcut because there's probably not enough. So many commands, there's not enough keyboards shortcuts to do. But I'm going to show you how to uh, program it. 
it's really, really simple. Uh, What the hell? Well, we'll go down here. Let's look here. Well, we'll just do this. Uh, okay. Let's say we want to program background lock toggle. So we go to VAC Builder. This is the building thing. This is how you program your uh, macros for your voice. Profile is the VS Max. And we want to add. What do we want to add? We want to add background lock top. Oh, uh, no. Uh, you know, I already got that. I already got that. Okay. So let's do bottom view. That's an easy one. So you're going to add. Bottom view. Okay. And then it's just a simple B. You go over here, type in B. And. You got bottom view here, but you can add another like another uh, voice command that'll do the same thing that that does. So I'm just gonna put bottom, put it there, okay, and say profile. It's literally that simple. And if you have to do extensions or anything like that, you can click that. You get a keyboard comes up. You click that. And, you know, you can do the qualifier key, extender 1, extender 2, and the character key. Uh, and you can do it that way. But you can also do it with just the keyboard in front of you. Uh, so the sa profile save. I'll go over here. Uh, I'll go out of it. Turn back on the AC system. And go back here and go uh, box. Bottom. Bottom view. And I don't know how to go back. Bottom view. No, I'm going to start. Uh oh. Oh, cool. Or I could have got home. Bottom view. Bottom view. Home. Home. I must not have that there. Damn it. Wow, that's a big grid. I didn't ask it to go on a grid. How the hell did that happen? Oh well. I go out of that. Oh. There we go. Perspective. Yay! I gotta get it to do that too, but yeah, that's how you do it. And it's that easy. And uh, it works with any program. I've got it working. I, I, I'm programming it for uh, 3DS Max. I've got it for a bunch of my games. Uh, let's see what games do I have. Off. So I've got it for 3DS Max. I'm working on that. It's going to take me literally days to program all the macros for things to do on that. I've got it for Star Star Wolf, Falcon AF, Photoshop, and Train Simulator so far. I'm going to get macros for uh, the uh, Fallout games I have. I'll, I'll either find them online. You can go online. They have a forum at the place you buy this program at. Where you can um, freely download macros, but at the moment they're not exactly working correctly. You download them in zip format, and they don't—they're uh, corrupt. 
for some stupid reason, or at least it's that way on my computer. But it's one of the most incredible uh, programs I've ever I've ever gotten. It's well worth the money to uh, purchase this program. Uh, you go to uh, dwvac.com, I think, uh, and you get it there. It's really quick to download. It's really easy to work. I haven't done anything like uh, profile attributes, done anything like that, or action attributes, or anything like that. I haven't used any of the special functions set up. I just straight across, just programming the macros, and uh, it does what I want it to do. And it's so much easier than working, you know, looking around for all the different things when you're using the program. Why not just get this and then take your time and program all that stuff in and then you just have to use your voice and there's no need to worry. You're not looking around for anything. You just say it. And it's great. And anybody that works in the industry uh, working with graphics or video editing or anything like that, you have got to get this program. It will make your life easier. It will make you do th it, it will help you to do things a whole lot faster. Okay, you'll speed up productivity big time. I mean, it's so worth buying. And it's only 18 bucks. So, and you can put it on th up to three computers per purchase. If you want to put it on any more, um, then you'll have to pay them another, I think it's like eight or nine dollars per computer for the uh, codes to allow you to do it. But worth it if you... Uh, do those kind of things. It'll work with any program that's got a short keyboard shortcut. Any program at all. And, you know, Photoshop, Autodesk, Maya, Premiere, uh, After Effects, all that stuff. You know, they don't have the VAC profiles for After Effects or any of that stuff that I've been able to find anywhere. But thanks to me, after I'm done going insane and spending hours and hours and hours and hours literally just sitting here programming this I'm gonna put these uh, put the uh, profiles up for these programs because the, it, it's for games they, they um, advertise it for doing games and stuff like that but it's it can do so much more and I'm surprised that I don't hear, you know, of anyone, I, of anyone using this to do these things other than with games. I seem to be the only person who thinks it's great to use it with editing software, video, photo, um, drawing, art software, all that shit. This is the perfect program for you. I mean, it's great. I mean, I'm rambling here, but, yeah. You have got to get this if you work in the entertainment industry. It will make your life a whole lot easier. More productive and maybe even a little more creative. I don't know. I, I, I'm not a creative person. I don't even know why I have these fucking programs. You know, like Autodesk and 3DS Max. You know, I got 3DS Max, Maya, Motion Builder, Mudbox, Sketchbook. I don't know how to use any of them. And I also have, uh, where is it? I have Adobe Master Collection. I got all these games, these things. I don't know how to use a goddamn one of them. I, well, okay, I know how to use Photoshop, kind of. A Prelude, I can't even use, or is it Premiere? One of these two, I gotta have, like, some kind of a license. I don't know what the hell that means. But it won't let me do anything unless I have a license or something. I don't know if it, you know, tell me. But I got After Effects, Audition Bridge, Dreamweaver, Encore, Fireworks, Flash Builder, Illustrator, InDesign, you know, all of these are the full programs. Again, I got them from a friend of mine who used to work in Hollywood, you know, and he gave them to me because, well, I thought they were interesting. So go ahead, have them. Anyway, yeah. 
To program all of these will take me at least six months. Literally. Because it's taken me hours. I mean literally hours just to do this for 3DS Max. These are all my uh, commands for 3DS Max. So it's not that I have to find these things in 3DS Max to do them. It's that I have to memorize all of this shit. You know, can you imagine that? And you gotta, it's insane. Plus you can test to make sure it works. Like I'm going to do right now, so, uh, you know, once you've got it programmed in, you can test it. So, let's test it. Teapot. Taurus. 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 Taurus knot. Tube. S tube. doesn't always work. Tube. It's not tube. 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 Not zoom, you son of a bitch. Display floater log. Edit name selections. Array. Scatter compound object. Shape merge compound object. Loft compound object. I don't even know what the fuck these things are. Try patch. Clone. Delete. And it shows commands and all the stuff to use. Display toolbox. Properties. Hide. Cut. Channel mode. Chamfer mode. Display. Inset. Bottom view. Home. Not hide, you dipshit. Home. Okay, if I'm having problems doing stuff, I can always go back. Let's see. Uh, home. Not hide. Home. Well, fuck you then. Um, yeah, you're being a bitch. It can be a problem sometimes, but, you know, and an annoyance, but well worth the, the money. Totally worth the money. Anyway, I'm rambling, and I'm probably not making any sense to anyone, but if you see this, wow, I could probably use this. This would work great for me. You know, certainly make my job a whole lot easier then I'm glad that I have shown you this and made your day. Um, a link should be in the description, unless I'm like really, really stoned and really, really bored and forget to put it there. Uh, I'll probably do it in a few days anyway. But yeah, this is Voice Activated Commands. And um, about offline, online. And an incredible program. It's something you should check out.